You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. Good day, sir. Hey, good day, John. You know what? We're going to put you on the spot immediately. You did not Ooh. see this coming. I've had actually the pleasure of hearing you do this. Oh, what, Yodel on the radio? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> and who's got a birthday today? Oh. Louis Armstrong. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Just, just a little snippet I'll of wonderful. See. Trees of green. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Uh, here's a weird thing. I, I don't know how I discovered I could even do that. <laughs> You're doing really well, though. And then I do you a do. little uh, karaoke, and it's funny because people are looking at me like, is that really coming that out of him? That voice came out of him? Come on, yeah. give us just a little, little, one more little taste, John. Uh, I'm trying to think of well, it's, a it's, good it's, part to sing. They're all great. And I think to myself... What a wonderful world. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, John Small Channel, Louis Armstrong. Put your panties back on, Heidi. Oh, what are you doing? Cow. <laughs> Throwing stuff at me. Billy Bob Thornton, who sounds nothing like that, is uh, 64 today. Just love, you know, I, I, so I first became aware of Billy Bob. He did a, uh, a pretty cool scene in Tombstone, one of the oh, best yeah. westerns ever. He was that snarky little gambler guy in the uh, casino when Wyatt Earp walked in and Took him down. Are you just stand there and bleed? You're gonna skim that smoke wagon. <laughs> <laughs> and Sling Blade was awesome. That's, oh yeah, that's all there is to mm-hmm. it. French fried taters. Um, mm-hmm. Megan Markle, who managed to shake up the entire royal family, ah, she is, did. Uh, is 39 today. Of course, married to Prince Harry, Duchess of Sussex. Not sure if she had to give up that title or not. I believe they. Uh, she and Prince Harry what moved to Canada now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I think citizens so. Citizens or something? Yeah. Well, no, I think now they're in L.A., aren't they? I don't know. I can't keep track. Every time I who send could, them a I mean, letter, really, it comes cares, back. But... No forwarding address. I don't know. Well, things just, just odd. It was uh, 1830. Plans for the city of Chicago are laid out. Ah. So you got to draw that stuff up. Yeah, yeah. I guess. That's, a, that's something you really <clears> think about. The original plans of Chicago did not include the south and west side uh, shooting galleries. <laughs> We, we've all come to know and love now. <laughs> we've actually stayed on the south side of Chicago. There you go. Not, See, not great. 1862, United States government collects the first federal income tax. You know why they did that? I do. To fund the Civil War. That's exactly right. President uh, Lincoln imposed that whole deal. It was 3% on anything $600 and less. Or between six hundred and ten thousand dollars. If you made over ten thousand dollars, it was five percent. Oh wow! Yeah, we'll go back to that. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be great? That'd be something else. And what else is going on here? This is pretty amazing. Eighteen ninety-two. Demure, quiet, little self-contained Sunday school teacher Lizzie Borden. Mm, yeah. It's arrested in River Falls, Massachusetts. Uh, apparently, something happened to her, folks. We were just, you and I were just talking about her just the and other day. That's why, you know, she was acquitted of acts murdering her yeah. dad and her stepmother uh, yeah. one year later in 1893. She stayed in town. Yeah. Her dad was fairly well to do. Yeah. And she inherited lots of stuff. She died with the equivalent of almost $5 million in Which, today's money. Yeah. Yeah, that's insane. And her sister split. Her sister got out of there. Left, yeah. Went yeah. to uh, New Hampshire, I believe. But uh, Lizzie would uh, live to the age of uh, 66, pass away of pneumonia. But uh, yeah, she lived in a big house. She had maids and servants, and but apparently no There's, one would come to her parties. Because you know what? She did she it. She killed people. Well, and there, <laughs> there are uh, a couple of different movies about that. And it's fascinating. The whole thing is just... So bizarre. Yeah, the made-for-TV movie originally with Elizabeth Montgomery from Bewitched. Oh, yeah. And it turns out she was actually sixth cousins with Lizzie Borden. Oh, wow. She was actually related, yeah. I thought she looked familiar. Isn't this interesting? It sure is. <laughs> Thank goodness I'm here. I'm glad you're here. Otherwise, we'd just, be, well, I guess we'd be doing what we do every other day. Louis Armstrong tunes. Yes. Dan, thanks for coming in, man. Absolutely. Oh, wait, we got the rest of the show to do. We Don't do. you go anywhere. We do. It's action-packed, man. Thanks for listening to the John Ed Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. Do you pay too much for insurance? Have you looked around? Or are you too chicken? <laughs> 
Don't be afraid to look around to see if you can find a better deal at insurancechicken.com. We make it super simple for you to see rates from several different companies, to see what they have to offer, all in one place. Heck out great insurance deals at insurancechicken.com. Is it time for you to cross the road? See if we can save you money each month at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm rough, tough, and ready. I'm a heck of a man. Eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love to wrestle bears and lasso ducks. Run over possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals, too. If you're picking on critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good, Good morning, morning, Ranger Dan. Good morning, Small. Now he's a player to tell you what. It's a great way to start every time I can walk in here and see you two little lovebirds. Roger, you're looking good. <laughs> Heidi! Ranger Dan! Have you ever been to Tennessee? Because you're the only <laughs> Tennessee. <laughs> oh, goodness, they can't all be home runs. Hey! <laughs> Let's dive in the old mailbag, should we? It's been a little while. Let's see what we got going here. Lots of correspondence. I always appreciate it. People trying to contact me and see what they got going on. Dear Ranger Dan, love, 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 love Critter Corner. Me and the entire family are all huge fans and can't wait to get your new comedy album, Ranger Dan Quacks You Up. <laughs> get it? Quack, that's I get, it's that's fantastic. Exact, I love that little play on words there because it's, it's a comedy album. <laughs> well, that Ranger Dan quacks you up, as you mentioned, possibly recorded live during a two for Tuesday in January at Cheetah's Peanut Bar and Off Sale Liquors in Sisseton. Anyway, as soon as we heard, we jumped right on your website there and, and ordered it. Uh, and uh, for just twenty nine ninety five, that's a heck of a deal. And uh, then we were informed to allow about 37 to 53 weeks for delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Which seems perfectly reasonable. We were just wondering that while we're waiting, could you maybe share just another maybe sample of what is sure to be oh, one of the best Oh, there we go. Of all time. This is going to be a bestseller. Again, thanks for everything you do, Ranger Dan. You are truly a national treasure. Signed, Mr. Milton Lindquist. Oh, nice. Yeah, well, Milton, can I call you Milt? You bet. Thanks for listening, and gosh darn it, taking time to write. And uh, Okay, so here we go. So a duck walks into a drugstore, <laughs> grabs a tube of chapstick, and waddles it up to the checkout. The cashier says, let me cash a charge, and the duck says, just put it on my bill. <laughs> Get it? Because it's chapstick. And it, okay. <laughs> Oh, that's all the time we have for the radio rangers. I hope you learned a lot of it. Oh, yeah. I always do. Bring it down out. Uh, Say it with me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Some credit cards have really high rates or big annual fees. Usually, people sign up for these when it's all they qualify for. If that sounds like you, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation changes, and you may qualify for a better credit card. Your current card hopes you don't think about it, but our site shows you many options to see if there's a better credit card for you. Check it out for free at bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Time now for Water Cooler Talk with Mr. Dan Ferris. What do we have today, sir? Hey, just a quick reminder. we got a uh, big pro-police rally coming up this Saturday. Yeah, yeah, we do. Down at the police precinct around 4th and Minnesota. Looks like it's going to be a whole lot of people there. I think too. so, too. Oh, it sounds yeah. like, yeah. It gets underway at uh, 1 o'clock and kind of runs. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Keep in mind, uh, the crew over at ABN, Army Surplus Tactical Gear, has just got a, another brand new supply of Thin blue line. Awesome. Yeah. Nice flags, t shirts, hats, pins, decals, uh, whatever you want. School we got visit. one. You should too. That's all there is to it. Let's see. Dateline for million. Thanks to my friends at Kelloland News for letting me share this. The University of South Dakota's law school, which, you know what? That's a pretty accredited darn school. It is. I mean, some big guns have coming out of there over, uh, over the years. Some of the people who graduated from there are now attorneys. They're doing kind <laughs> of. Uh, <laughs> You know, it can't be that easy. Have you ever known anybody taken taken that that test, taken the bars? Oh no, it sounds like it's, it's tough. Yeah. A lot of times, it's more than one attempt. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I know people who've taken like three or four runs at it, and unfortunately, I've put them on on retainer. <laughs> I passed the bar 12 times. It's all right. How come my attorney has a punch card? Right? <laughs> Going to be getting a brand spanking new name. T. Denny Sanford is writing checks again. Uh-huh. Are they renaming it? Uh, yeah, just announced the school, uh, South Dakota's only law school, will be renamed University of South Dakota Knutson School of Law. Well, that's oh, I, I did not I see, did that, not coming. see that coming. <laughs> no, no, I didn't either. Did you just pick a name out of a hat, or is that somebody? <laughs> well, in just Knutson, I think you know there's going to be a lot of potlucks going on down there too. <laughs> so, do we know who the Knutson is? We do. Oh, okay. The name change comes with a 2.5 million dollar donation from T. Denny Sanford, who is a dear friend and colleague of Sioux Falls attorney. David Knutson. Okay. Uh, see, now it all makes sense. Maybe this will ring a little bigger bell. David Knutson's uh, wife, Dee, is formerly a Sioux Falls City Commissioner, too. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. They get some, I've heard they of get her. some stuff done. So, that's going to be what's going on. Huh. Down I think there. that deserves a round of applause, by that's, the way. Sure. It's very nice. He's in. Again, in case you don't know, and you do hear rumblings over the years, some people get kind of kicked out of shape going, gee, Danny, and he puts his name out. The man... <laughs> donated charitable causes and you name it over a billion well dollars. over a billion yeah. dollars in the past 20 years or so and uh, it's it's generally for something pretty cool so well, yeah and, that's and awesome no matter what you think of every other part of his life at least that is a nice thing so that's you know, a good thing it's a very good thing so it's not all rainbows and boxes full of kittens and bubble puppies here <laughs> i do <laughs> gotta say what? on sunday oh. i was in bad need of a cash infusion Oh. And I do bank at First Premier. Okay. And I went to two different ATMs that just were kind of out of order. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, I don't know what the skinny was. It was a weekend. I get it. But... There was a run on the ATMs? Uh, possibly. So what you're saying is anyone listening right now should go to the ATM quickly and get as much cash out as yeah, they can. Yeah, because I could access them. I mean, it would take my card, but then it's like, eh, no withdrawals. Okay. <laughs> Huh. I suppose huh. it would have helped to have money in my account, but <laughs> details, details. <laughs> He's not that giving after all. <laughs> well, Dan, thank you for that. Sure thing. Thank you for that report. My pleasure. Coming up in a moment, we're going to talk trash with Nick Sweeney. We haven't done this in a while. We missed it's him last been a month. While. Oh, yeah. love Nick and the yeah, crew. Yeah, it's been over a month because we were going to do it last month, and then uh, it didn't work out because they were busy out uh, running and you know doing their job. That's and a good they, thing. They busy good. is good. Oh, yeah. They're, and they're... Uh, Offering two free months right now. If you'd like all the details, two free months to switch to Sweeney Sanitation. All of the details at SweeneySanitation.com. We've got Nick Sweeney on the way. We're here to make it better. If you find that drug or alcohol problems are hitting you too close to home, you can get help. Maybe it's time for rehab. Your insurance may even cover everything. Learn more at TimeForRehab.com. Get help for a drug or alcohol problem within 24 hours. We're here to make it better. Get more information at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Time right now for Trash Talk with Nick Sweeney from Sweeney Sanitation. How you doing, Nick? Very good, John. How are you? Fantastic. Now, uh, on Facebook, it was like a week ago, you were posting some of the things that people are trying to recycle that are not recyclable. And some of this stuff was really funny to me because I don't know how somebody would think like a dirty diaper would be recyclable. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how people think that either, but it happens more often than you'd think. What would you say is the most bizarre thing somebody's tried to recycle? Um, well, like hoses okay and kind of stuff like that or rubber okay. materials people try to do that they think oh hey this might be able to be reused but yeah. that would go in the garbage side not the recycling right side. right so let's give everybody a really quick refresher course whether they work with sweeney sanitation or somebody else these rules all apply right yep for the five surrounding counties around here and, so. and we would love for you to work with sweeney sanitation they are the very, by far the very best we recommend them but let's talk about uh what is recyclable what should go in that particular can uh for the big ones would be like newspaper glass bottles plastic bottles plastic jugs uh cardboard things like that and uh the most common ones we see that you don't want to do is like plastic film okay or styrofoam or plastic bags or grocery bags and 
and you don't want it you don't want to bag it either just like you bag the garbage you don't want to bag the recycling so the recycling you keep loose yep. so you don't put it in a bag because that bag itself is not recyclable right right so and that should make it easier for people really when you think about it cuz you can have like a recycling bin in the house you put stuff in there when it's full you go just tip it in and dump it you don't need right. to put it in a bag exactly yeah save so. some save some plastic there so now uh, one that i thought was really interesting is you took a photo of a giant gallon of chocolate milk yep full and, and it was in the recycling but it was a full gallon of chocolate milk and i like how you put it on there when the the milk is in there it's not recycled right, right. you know you would rinse it out first and then you can recycle it and when it's when it's full you shouldn't throw it away dump it out first right no matter what uh do you see that kind of thing a lot where people are like cleaning out the fridge and they yeah throw? Well, yeah people will find like half gallons of milk and or even like gatorades that are full and and, or, and they throw it in the recycling yeah because they think well the bottle's recycling but yeah you got to get the so dump the fluids out yeah first. you got to get that out of there first that's it and, and that's something you can just dump it down the drain right I mean, so right. if you're dumping that out and rinse if you want at the time then rinse it out a little bit too sure um so what would you say is the biggest misconception when it comes to recycling are there misconceptions that like people just yeah the, that they don't understand but probably styrofoam would be the number one because a lot of it says it's recyclable, okay. but it's really not around here. Okay. And then so many people try to bag the recycling, which I, I understand, but th- the recycling plant just can't have it that way. Yeah. It messes with their machines and stuff. So Got it. Now, if people listening are going, you know what? I've never even looked around. When I moved in, this is who we had for uh, a service, and we've just had them for a long, long time. Um I'm a big fan of what you guys do, Sweeney Sanitation. First of all, locally owned, talking to Nick Sweeney, one of the owners of the company. But what are some of the other things when people are switching to you? What are some of the reasons they're switching to you? Uh, well, a lot of people just like that we're local and new and have a competitive price and try to recycle as much as we can. And the competitive price, that's something that it's pretty close to everybody else, maybe even a little less than a lot of them. Yep, yep. And which areas can people connect with you? Because I know you can't reach everybody that we're talking to right now. You don't go to every place that we're talking to, but what areas do you go to? Uh, All of Sioux Falls, Harrisburg, and Crooks, and then everything in between. So Harrisburg, Crooks, Sioux Falls. Yep. And uh, and again, uh, east side, west side, north side, south side, all over Sioux oh, Falls. Oh yeah, all over. So if you're in Sioux Falls, Sweeney Sanitation is uh, is could be your person that you reach out to. And uh, now, like a lot of the other companies, they've got uh, cans. You guys have cans as well. It's just a different can. Yep, we provide the containers. So if people want to switch to you, really, all that's going to change is maybe the color of the can. Maybe the day they do it, you know, because I suppose everybody does things on different days. But then uh, the the invoice will come from somebody different, and it'll be less, most likely. Yeah. So these and are all good changes, for really. Sure, local too. Cause. Yeah, and it's local. So and the nice thing is, you have a nice, clean, new can. So that old, dirty thing you got from a long, long time ago that yeah. can go away. Um, how do people get a hold of you if they would like to switch over to Sweeney Sanitation? Uh, easiest way would be on our website, uh, which is SweeneySanitation dot com. Otherwise, you can give me a call or text at 605-360-1734. Very nice. And what is the most interesting thing you found on the route lately? Have you, have you added to your art collection? Uh, yeah, definitely a few more paintings. Uh, <laughs> How many do you have now? Uh, probably like 30 or 40. I think we still we need to set up a Sweeney Sanitation Gallery oh, yeah. where people can see the fancy yeah, we, art that you we find. We could donate them for something. Or, there you go. <laughs> but, uh, well, thank you again for coming in for a little trash talk. Right on. Thanks, John. Thanks for having me. And again, Nick Sweeney from Sweeney Sanitation. Their website, once again, SweeneySanitation.com. Many people have dabbled in the stock market for their very first time ever this year. If you're new to the market, but you don't want to learn things the hard way and the expensive way, I encourage you to subscribe to this free newsletter. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at MarketBeatMinute.com. Subscribe for free. If you change your mind, just unsubscribe. Sign up for free right now at MarketBeatMinute.com. That's MarketBeatMinute.com. And it's time right now for entertainment news of the day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Because celebrities are fabulous. In these dark, disturbing times in which we live and struggle just to survive without celebrities, well, it'd be all over, wouldn't it? What? I think so. (laughs) Here's a classic example. You know, as we try to muddle through, well, what is a global pandemic, economic upheaval, crime rates through the roof. 
Jennifer Lopez, one of the most glamorous women in the world and a close personal friend of mine. Yeah. Took to Instagram on Saturday morning and posted a photo of herself makeup free. Oh my gosh, she's so edgy. Wearing a plush white bathrobe Mm. and sharing the words, good morning, everyone. Hashtag morning face. Mm. face. (laughs) It's not her third album. And I got to tell you, I got up Saturday morning and I won't lie to you, I was feeling a little anxious. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes you don't even want to go outdoors anymore. Oh, and, I know. Uh, then that uh, that put you at ease. <clears throat> that posted on uh, on my Instagram, and I just went, Whew. "Yeah, thank you, J Lo. <laughs> thank you Jesus. so much. <laughs> thank you." So- I wept. I did. I just I, <laughs> I wept. I had a complete <laughs> mental emotional breakdown. If you want to cheer up? Here's something that happened in our life over the weekend. This woman sitting next to you, she may not look it, but she is a genius. Oh my. She's I don't an absolute, even know where this is going. He she's did an, something horribly No, wrong. no. He must have. She's an absolute genius. The other day, she says, hey, get in the car. We got to go pick something up. And she wouldn't tell me what it was. And I'm like, oh, where, yeah. where are we going? And she said, well, I got to stop and break at 20. So we got to buy some corn nuts for our steakout. <laughs> By the way, corn nuts, the official snack food of steakouts. Uh, that's for our private investigation business. But we can't talk about that here. Uh, so... We go to this lady's house, and Heidi walks out carrying a squirrel-sized Jeep. And apparently it's for some doll. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But Just because I doubt anybody manufactures a squirrel-sized Jeep. <laughs> Good. <laughs> but yeah. it is a squirrel-sized Jeep. So, I would have thought doll immediately, but that's just me. <laughs> she comes out, and she hands this thing to me, and she's like, there you go, baby. Who, who, who loves you? <laughs> so on my squirrel party deck now, we have a Jeep. And if you've not yet seen it. It is so cute when he's in there. It's so cute. Yeah. Facebook.com slash squirrel party deck. And if you go and check it out, you'll see the uh, the Jeep that Heidi got. So see, Dan, even when you feel like weeping, if you go there, we'll make you smile. Well, yeah. And if you happen to be with uh, JLo on Instagram, you can also find some uh, recently posted things over the past couple of weeks where although they were really, really suffering, you know, during quarantine, during the pandemic, yeah. J-Lo did manage to get the whole family together and throw a hip-hop dance party. Oh, that's oh, fantastic. And posed for several uh, several selfies for that, Good too. for her. So when you're feeling down, that's... man, just just jump on it. That's what celebrities are here for. They are. They are here for our entertainment pleasure. Dan, thank you so much. Absolutely. He's also here for our entertainment and information pleasure. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. If you have a credit card We'd like to help you make sure it's the best credit card for you. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and see what you get for points or perks. Then go to BetterCreditCards.com to see if we can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing and it could help you get a better credit card. If you don't have a credit card right now, you can check us out too at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Tuesday, August 4th, 2020. Equity markets got off to a good start on Monday despite the lapsing of enhanced unemployment benefits. The move, a gain of less than 1% for the S&P 500, was driven by hope a new stimulus deal could be reached soon. The sticking point is the benefit enhancement itself. Democrats want to extend the $600 payment while Republicans think a smaller amount is in order. Monday's move in the stock market is positive for another reason. The S&P 500 moved to set a new post-correction high as it extends its historic market melt-up. Later in the week, traders will be looking for additional fuel for the melt-up in labor data. The non-farm payroll report is due out on Friday and could easily spark the rally that takes the S&P 500 to its previous all-time high. The risk is job losses have accelerated, news that could send the market back into a tailspin. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.